What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Team Fish Knuckles, the YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and today we're gonna go over the Pissimia deck that everybody's been wanting to see. And I think this is one of the uh, the better ways to play for sure. I've seen some people using Pissimia with Red Rock, which seems very strange with strong energies and stuff like that. Which I think playing a strong energy route is just so bad. Um, you just don't do it. You just don't do damage fast enough, and your Pissimia just keep getting knocked out. I've seen some of play Crush Nammer. I've seen some less like, because there's a lot of space in this deck. Because all you really need is 4 Mew, 4 Persimian, and then everything else is up to you. So there's a lot this deck can do. There's a lot of ways you can play it. And I think this way is probably the best way with the Burst Balloon, Fate of Town, all that good stuff. But let's go over this deck and let's see what's it about and why has everybody been hyping this deck up so much. Well, your main attacker is going to be Persimian. We don't care about fling, we don't play any fighting energies. What we care about is team play. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your bench Pissimian. Okay, so if you have three bench Pissimian with the one of the active, you're only doing 100 in damage, which is not very strong. 100 is nothing, right? But if you use Mew with the Memories of Dawn and use a counter, you can then use one of your, I uh, mean not counter, Memories of Dawn, sorry. If you use Memories of Dawn, you can use one of your basic Pokemon to play this attack. Which is Pissimian, and then you can hit for 140, 100, 3, 6, 9, 12, 130 damage. There we go. Alright, so 130 damage. Um, and then with the Burst Balloon, if they attack you, they get knocked out because you're doing 190 damage. And with a Fated Town, you can do 210 damage to knock out pretty much all the Megas in the game right now, except for the 220 HP Pokemon. But you can just pass. So, like I said, the main, the main point of the deck is to use Mew. Memories of Dawn to copy Basimian, doing 130 damage because you have 4 on play, so 3, 6, 9, 12, plus the 10, and then you do 130, plus the first one, which is 190, and we're going to be taking knockouts that way. Uh, two Shamans, like always, to help set up, of course. They really, I really don't like putting down Shamans, because if you put down a Shaman, you have one less bar for Basimian or Mew, because the whole point is to have a Mew in the active, 4 Basimian on the bench, and a Mew, which is... Uh, Five Pokemon, so yeah, like you're you you can't you need it like you you need all those bench spots. So putting out Shaman is actually really bad, but sometimes it is needed. Um, I was thinking about cutting a Shaman for a third Buddy Buddy Rescue just to keep guaranteeing your tackle with the Pisamians, and you'll definitely see that in the game for sure. But there we go, that's all the Pokemon, just four Mew, four Pisamian, and two Shaman. But everything else in this deck is pretty much needed. We'll play two Buddy Buddy Rescue. To get a Pokemon out of your discard pile, um, it could be Pissimian, it could be um, Mew, it could be Shaman. Now you could play Revive, right? Revive could put it into your hand, but sometimes you need a Buddy Buddy for a Shaman, and that way you get Shaman later on if needed. So that's the big difference. You can play Revive to go straight to your bench, or you can Buddy Buddy to put a Shaman in your hand, and then you set up to help you win the game. And that's the key difference right there. Uh, one Echo Arm to shuffle back those balloons into your deck because you shuffle three Pokemon tools from your discard pile back into your deck. One Escape Room, one Switch because you do play the four Puzzle Time to reuse 82 cards out of your discard pile if you play both at the same time. And that just gives you the option, do you want Escape Rope, do you want to Switch? You also play Skyla as well. So you can decide which one do you want. Do you want Escape Rope out of the active and uh, take a hit at one of your opponent's bench Pokemon? Or do you just need to Switch out instead? Now we are playing the new Nest Ball. Search deck for a base Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck afterwards. And you'll notice we're playing eight different uh, ball counts, four Ultra Ball and four Nest Ball. And this is just to help you get the Pissimians out ASAP. You still need Ultra Balls for Shamans and then discard cards like Lysander's and N. We don't need them so that we can VS secret for them later on. But both these cards are really needed. You could probably cut some Ultra Balls down if you want to play more other cards, uh, which is fine for sure. Uh, four puzzle time, like I said, reuse 82 cards out of your discard pile. This could be a Pissimian a DCE, this could be a DCE and whatever. Just whatever you need you can get, which is fantastic. One special charge to shuffle two special energies from your discard pile back into your deck. Sometimes it's needed. Like, let's say you already have a special energy on the field, like on the act spot, but you need more in your deck. You can then special charge them back into your deck and then play Juniper or whatever, which is fine. Um, one town map, which is MVP, because you need to know where your Pissimians are. If one's prize, you need a town map and make sure you grab that Pissimian ASAP so you do maximum amount of damage. 
And like always, for training as well, for Ultra Ball, for VS Seeker, just maximum consistency. Make sure we get everything set up ASAP. And three Fated Talent to help you out against those Mega Evolutions. Like I said, the max you could do potentially in one turn is 190. But with the Fated Talent, you can do um, 230, right? Because 9, 10, 11 go back to them. And, and yeah, so you can do 230 to knock out whoever you want to hit. The Fated Talent stays out the whole time. Uh, two Lysander, three in, four Sycamore, one Skyla. The Skyla is really good because you can get a Skyla for a puzzle time to get 82 cards out of your Disco Pal. Uh, maybe a Skyla for a support card later on. And then two teammates. I do play two because you do need these like a little bit more than Skyla. You get teammates for 82 cards in your Disco Pal. Or 82 cards in your deck. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, any two cards out of your deck. Um, so you, that way you can grab two puzzle times to get anything out of your discard pile or whatever you need. You get teammates for a DC and a balloon, a DC and Faded Town. It's just so much search options with the, the teammates, the Skyla. Like, don't worry, like, don't get me wrong. Skyla is a hundred, like, teammates is a hundred percent sure better than Skyla. But early game, if your opponent does take a knockout, Skyla is needed to help you search your deck. Uh, but teammates is good, puzzles good. Like you can just basically search your whole deck with with this. I uh, search a whole deck with these two cards, teammates and puzzle time. Uh, four balloons, which we we'll keep talking about. You do sixty more damage if your opponent hits it, and if they hit it, well then you're taking a knockout for sure. And the only downside about burst balloon is your opponent can lice it around it, which is going to happen a lot. But the good thing about this deck is you only play 9 EX Pokemon, so they knock out 6 of these guys to actually win a game, when you only have to knock out 3 EXs. And the good thing about Mew is he can like hit for weakness on like Mews, or Mewtwo's uh, Hoopas, which almost every deck plays Hoopa. So you can take some cheap prize cards that way on Hoopas. Um, Mew can also one-shot a Shaman if you have 4 Pasimia, so that's good as well. But Pasimia can't take a knockout on Shaman because it does have resistance and everything like that. So it's, you know, Pissimian attacking a Mew is not very good. Or Pissimian attacking a Shame is not very good. But there we go, guys. There's my Pissimian Mew deck. And uh, these two games coming up are pretty crazy. And they're two bad matches for this deck. But we still somehow pull off and take a victory with these two games. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And let's see these games. Or let's see the deck in action. Alright, so we're going to get Xyrex 119 playing a Steel uh, Psychic and Colors deck. Um, Mega Mewtwo, maybe? I'm not sure. Scissor Garboder, that could be a thing as well. So we won the coin flip. I mean, if it's Scissor Garboder, that'd be pretty bad because, um, we can't use Mew. So, <clears throat> speaking of Mew, there it is. But we do have Fate of Town, so that could be somewhat helpful. But we just can't use Mew. Alright, so press done. Alright, so they're starting to start a Pokemon. And show me Scizor. Yep. Alright, so put, um, hmm. Will Trainer's Mail? For a town map. Okay, so we'll town map to see our price cards. There's a DC puzzle, buddy buddy, sycamore, and Lysander. Okay. A part of me just wants to pass, because I don't think he knocks out next turn. But no, I think we have to play it safe. I don't want to take a I don't get knocked out. So put a burst balloon, DC, fade a town, uh, and sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven cards, unfortunately. Alright, but there's okay, so this is good. We got a Pissimian, Pissimian, um, Mew, and we'll pass. Okay. So if he hits his turn, we get he get bought for 60, then we could do maybe a knockout of the final form of Pissimians. Okay. Um so there's a parallel city coming down. Go to bump us down to three, unfortunately. There's a scissor spilling going to the active, okay. Uh, metal energy, and will he still wing this turn? If he does, that could be a huge misplay. Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven of cards, because he can't take a knockout. I mean, he takes 20 less damage, another 20 to 40. It could be okay, but then he gets bought for the uh, 60, which is not very nice. So, scissor are coming down, okay. And let's see, will you hit us or not? Hmm. There's an Ultra Ball, gonna discard two cards from his hand. Most likely looking for trouble. Yeah, there's a Garboder, he just discarded and a Mega Turbo, okay. Let's see, there's a Shaman. Now, Shaman come down is good for us because we get Lyson up later on to take a knock on it fairly easily. Uh, I just hope we top make like an N because I really don't want to play another sickle. I mean, right now we can't play anything because we're parallel city. So, we're going to draw six new cards with the Shaman or up to six new cards. Okay. There's a Trainer's Mill. Look at tough cards of their deck. And what will they find with this? Maybe an E Hammer, a Crush Hammer. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's good old Crush Hammer. I called it. I knew he played it. All right. 
Uh, later on, the, the Crush Hammer and e Hammers aren't going to matter too much because Mega Scizor will just start bopping our energies. Tails, okay. And will he attack us or just pass? That's the question of the day. Let's see. Will he attack? There's a Flowstone going down to the Shaman. Okay. And he's just going to pass, which I think is a smart play. And there's a teammate. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to... Let's see. We can do 3, 6, 7, minus 20, which is 50. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to. I think we're just going to team play for fifty. Okay, on to our opponent's turn. He has one twenty HP left, which there's really no way to hit that. Um, then he's going to mega evolve. It doesn't really matter too much anymore. So one hundred and seventy HP. But what we could do is teammates for a balloon and a Fata Town. I think that that'd be really good, and then we can maybe put down Shaman. There's a VS Seeker. Let's see what they grab. There's a Lysander, which is fine if maybe they knock out a Simeon. I don't care about that. We could then use teammates, and then use Buddy Buddy Rescue. So that's that's okay with me. I'm I'm fine with this play for sure. He'll take a knockout, but we don't lose our energy. He doesn't knock out our Mew. We have Buddy Buddy in our hand. We have teammates as well, so it's it's, it's okay. So 120. He's gonna go down to five. We'll send up Mew, and let's see, on to our turn, what will we do? Alright, well, there's a Trainer's Mail. So, I'm a Buddy Buddy first, to grab up a Seeming Out. Okay, he, he can't grab, I mean, he can grab a, a Garboder in his hand. He can put a Garboder in his hand. So, there's a Garboder coming to his hand. We'll grab up a Seeming. We'll put that guy down. Uh, I'm going to Trainer's Mail first. And with this, I'm going to grab a Via Seeker. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Either way, we're gonna grab the same cards. So we're gonna put VS Seeker, we'll play teammates, and with the teammates, we'll grab a, a Pissimian and a Fade Town. Okay, now we could have grabbed the Balloon, but I want a supporter card for next turn, so we'll put down the Fade Town. We'll put down Pissimian. Um, and we will team play for 3, 6, 9, 10, minus 20, 80, but plus the, the Fated Town plus 20. All right. So if we have grabbed the balloon, we could potentially take a knockout this turn, but that's if he doesn't lie center. So let's take a more discard his hand. Discards two VS Seekers. Now he has no more VS Seekers left, so that's fantastic. Okay. Uh, there's a Steel Ninja going to Scizor. A Trubbish coming to line as well. And we're looking okay. He's going to go down to two prize cards, but then we can knock out his scissor. He can maybe promote this guy next turn, but if we find a balloon, we could, I think we're going to be okay. Discards a mega turbo or something else. And will he grab a mega scissor right now or not? Will he grab a shaman? Another shaman would be good for us because that's two easy knockouts for us later on. I think we're fine. Uh, will we take a knockout? We grab a DC and maybe a Lysander. Does this scissor come online? Okay. Alrighty, let's see. What will he do here? Will he attack? If he attacks, well, it's getting knocked out for sure. So let's see. What is his plan right now? Okay, so Iron Crusher for the knockout. Going down to four prize cards. Now, hopefully, what we top deck is a... Oh, he discards a Faded Town as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's, that's really good. So, send up Mew. I mean, we're three, six, nine... Uh, well, yeah, we'll take a knockout. There's a puzzle of time. So I'm going to be a Seeker uh, for teammates, okay? And with teammates, we'll grab a Pissimian and a Bursting Balloon, okay? Oh, no, not DC, a Burst Balloon, thank you, thank you. So grab a, a, a Pissimian Burst Balloon. We'll put a Burst Balloon on the active, put down Pissimian, put down a Mew, put down a DC, 3, 6, 9, 12, 130, minus 20 is 110, and we are to grab a Puzzle Time, and maybe a DCE. Uh, we'll team play for knockout for sure. Yeah, we'll team play for knockout. Okay. So we're doing 110 damage. Okay, so I'm going to grab a puzzle time. And I think a sycamore. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. We can maybe be a sycamore for teammates. But I want a sycamore to thin our deck out. And plus draw to more cards. Like an echo arm or something. To put our balloons back in our deck. Um, we'll have we'll have used all of our puzzles though. That's unfortunate. So there's a Garbota coming line, a scissor coming line as well. Okay. There's Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven cards. Now if he hits us, he will get bought for six, which is fantastic. 
But if he gets a Flowstone Garvoder, then we can't hurt him with Mew anymore. Uh, Cabalion coming down, okay. Trainer's Mel looking for a Flowstone to turn that Garbodor, and he will find a Flowstone, which is very unfortunate, because that means we have to tackle the Samians from the rest of the game. Um, and we can't take a knock on our Shamans pretty easily, so that's the only downside. So Flowstone going on Garbodor, okay. Trainer's Mill as well, okay, alright. Hmm, alright, let's see what does he grab with Trainer's Mill. There's an Ultra Ball, okie dokie. Um, and with this knockout, what we can do is just like... Oh, there's a crush number heads. Okay, so he's actually not going to attack this turn. Okay. Uh, so he's just going to pass onto our turn. All right, so we get a Fade of Town. Um, we'll put down the Fade of Town. I'm fine that he just passed the Mew in the active, because what we can do is hurt the Shaman for a ton of damage. We just can't knock it out this turn. So with this, I'm going to grab a Special Charge. And a Bursting Balloon, okay. I'm going to put a Burst Balloon on a Pessimian. Special Charge both the DCs back in our deck. And then I'm going to Sycamore discard our hand, draw 7 new cards. Okay. So hopefully find a DC off the Sycamore. I just want a more DC in the deck. And there's a DC, which is great. So put a DC on this guy. We will retreat. And use the Team Play. It doesn't take a knock. I only do 80 damage. But we could potentially knock out the Shaman later on. Uh, but just likes and interrupts. That's great. Alright, so the Scizor took 20 damage. If he attacks this turn, he get Bob for 60, bring it up to 80. We still can't knock it out, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah, the max we could do is 180 plus another Fated Town's 200. So Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from his hand. Alright, so now we have to be super careful. We have one Buddy Buddy Risk. Oh man, this is going to be a hard. It, it's going to be a hard game to finish. So there's an N. He goes four. We get four as well. Okay. Let's see, what cards do we find? We find an Ultra Ball and, okay, Puzzle Time. And Puzzle Time is pretty much useless. So I'm just going to Ultra Ball, discard a Puzzle Time and in. And a Sycamore, discard a hand, draw 70 cards. What we can also do is license the Shaman a Sky Return for the Knockout for our last two prize cards if that comes to it as well. So going to retreat to the Mega Scizor. Go on Iron Crusher. Okay, he's going to get Bop for 60. Uh, all right. Unfortunately, the Fade Town does not hurt him before he discards it. But he does get hurt for 60, so that's good. It goes down to three. We'll send up a Simeon. I guess we should have sent a Mew. That would have been like a really smart play for sure. Um, there's a Nest Ball. We'll play it just to get out of our deck. We'll grab a Mew. Okay. Let's see. So we have a Lysander. Two DCs. So we have like really good. I mean, I did not mean to grab that Mew. Oh my goodness. Oh man. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We'll grab that Ultra Ball. Discard one and two. Oh man, alright, we'll grab we're not gonna grab a shaman for sure. Not gonna grab a shaman and we'll sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, there's an ultra ball and escape rope. I think right now we just train as well, trying to find a burst balloon. Okay, there's a bursty balloon. <laughs> we'll put this guy on the active, put down a DC, and we will team play. Alright, so 70. Uh if he attacks oh he actually does get knocked out. Oh no! No! Oh, man, we're off at one damage. I forgot it had 220 and not 210. If we grab, well, there's no way we would have got a Pessimian. We didn't have a Buddy Buddy in our hand. It is Price right there. So there's a Lysander. Gonna bring the other Pessimian. This is gonna be trouble, guys. All right, so we're gonna have two Price cards. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, man. All right, let's go, Mew. Get him, boy. All right, so on to our turn. We get an N. Okay. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball and an Escape Rope to grab nothing. Okay. I'm going to switch into Mew. Okay. Now we either end a four, hope to hit a Burst Balloon and a Fade of Town. Three, a four... Now, I think as long as we get a burst blend, we should be okay. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna a Skyla for a burst balloon. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're gonna Skyla for a burst balloon. We took a knockout last turn, so we can grab a, a teammates. 
No, we're using Skyline now. Yeah, we need to grab Burst Blend. So grab Burst Blend. <laughs> we'll put down on Pissimian. We will retreat to Pissimian. And use Team Play for 40. But if he hits us, he will get knocked out. All right. So our opponents are going to draw a card. Okay. Now, if he takes a knockout. Oh, man. What can we do? It all comes down to top deck. So there's a Crush Namer. Tails. Not going to discard the energy. That Crush Namer could have been big. If he flipped heads, he could have discarded our last. No, we have one more energy left in our deck. So that's fine. Okay, so if he takes a knockout, what two cards do we get? And that's a stupid question here. All right, so there's an end. Okay, with this end, that could be really good. If he ends us into a Shaman, we can win next turn. So there's a VS Secret, okay, Nest Ball, which gives us a Shaman. Okay, so that's really good. So an Energy on Cabalion, okay. And will he take a knockout? He can go down to one prize card, but if he does, we can license the Shaman and take a knockout. And there's an Iron Crusher taking a knockout. We will win this game with this really cool Shaman play. So get bought for 60. Yeah, guys. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe we did it. This is a really hard matchup. So Burst Balloon being popped off. We'll grab a DC and Lysander. Okay. And we're going to Nest Ball for Shaman, which you should never do because it doesn't work. Uh, so it goes down to one prize card. We barely did it. So put down the Mew or send the Mew. Sorry We will nest ball for the shaman We will Lysander up a shaman DC the shaman and take a knockout a shaman on shaman a knockout That is so mean so we'll retreat into shaman and we will sky return for the knockout Oh my goodness. That is amazing. We take the game <laughs> Shaman MVP right there, guys. That just shows you. We'll sit at Mew, whatever, and there we go. There's a victory with the Basimian Mew uh, deck. We'll, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. That one was fairly hard. My opponent could discard a stadiums, uh, Garbodor in play, but we still did it, which is fantastic. So we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully, it's another victory. All right, so pretty against Pokey, TCG, Valpo. Oh, playing a guarded deck. <laughs> this one's going to be even harder because they could discard the Guardies. With the Sparry. And they can discard the Pokemon. I mean, like, they can discard the Hurt Guardies and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a hard matchup for sure. Now, if Guardy was weak to Psychic, this could be totally, totally different. But unfortunately, they are not weak to Psychic. They're weak to Steel. All right. So we start Mew, Puzzle Time, Trainer's Mail, Burst Balloon. All right. So press done. And let's see. What is my opponent playing? And a Mega Altaria. Never mind, this actually might be a little bit better because they can't discard the Pokemon. Now, it's still Mega, a little bit hard to deal with. I think we might be okay. We, we took down Mega Scizor, which is like ooh, a really hard matchup, and we still did it. Like, they have Resistance, they have Garboder, and somehow we took down that deck, so maybe this deck is actually, like, super viable and not just a hype main deck kind of thing. All right, so they're starting to start a Pokemon. We have Town Map, Trainer's Mail. We have a... That's eh, okay, Hand. Yes, we'll draw from Mulligan. There's a Fated Town and a Trubbish. Oh, another Garbodor deck. Okay, so we'll... Town Map? Okay. Oh, we have a Simeon Prize as well. Okay, so we'll Trainer's Mail. Grab an Ultra Ball. Okay. With the Ultra Ball, we'll discard a Sycamore and an Escape Rope to grab a Simeon. And I think what I'm going to do right now is just pass. Ooh, or do we put down Burst Balloon and all that kind of good stuff and blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to... What does Altair's first deck do? That's my question. I don't know. So we're press done. I think we're going to find we just pass in and see what happens. Um, yeah, I think we'll see. So there's a Flowstone for the Trubbish, okay. Um, there's a trainer's mode, look at top cards, other deck. If they just pass, we could knock out this Trubbish. But there's an Ultra Ball, which might grab a Hoopa, might grab a uh, Hoopa. Like, man, Hoopa's such a good card for us to knock out. So Ultra Ball, go and discard two cards from their hand, and let's see what do they get. And I don't know what regular, so 100 and heal 30. Not too concerned about that for sure. So there's a Hoopa, and Hoopa's great for us because we can hit it for weakness and take a knockout. So that's always good. Uh, so going to use Skundring, search for probably two Altarius and a Shaman most likely. Come on down, Shamans and Altarius. Okay. So there's an Altaria. Okay, so does, okay, so 30. Eh, okay, so you can't take a knock out this turn, so that's good. Altaria, Shaman, okay. 
But he's not taking a knockout this turn, no matter what. So that's good. So an Altaria coming down. I just hope he plays an end because I don't want to discard that puzzle of time. I'd rather have it in my hand. There's a DCE. Um, he's not going to be healed, so the max he could do is 30. Another Altaria coming down. A Shaman. Oh, he could play Kuke. Kuke, whatever it's called. Professor Kuke. Well, I, I forget what it's called. To do additional 20 more damage, and that could be bad. Okay. And uh, let's see what will they do here. Okay, so there's a sound lap coming down, which we have Fated Town. We can just counter that. That's fine. I don't care about that. In and in. Thank you, Pokemon. All right. So we'll get a new hand of six, and hopefully it's a little bit better. There's an in. And that's, okay, that's automatically like a better hand for sure. So it's going to treat to Altaria. He's going to hit for power for gain for 30, but then we could do a ton of damage to him this turn. We can Nest Ball, uh, Train Dismal, hopefully hit another one. But we need to find a Fated Town now because of that sound lab. There's a puzzle time. We'll train your smell. We're a nest ball. Okay. That is fighting resistance. So play nest ball. To grab a Passimian. How many faded towns are in here? I'll th okay, I'll throw faded towns. So grab a Passimian. We will nest ball for another Passimian. Okay. I'm going to DC the active. It's kind of YOLO. So we'll play in. We'll both get a new hand of six. Can we find a faded town or not? And we don't find one. Oh, no. Okay, so that's not good. <laughs> we'll put down Mew, free retreat to the Mew, and pass. Mm, that's not good. Okay, all right, all right, that's unfortunate. We didn't find a Fated Town. I know they're in the deck, so that's okay. And just so uh, there is a Altaria Splint going to the active. Okay. We can see Mega Altaria, Fear Energy, and use uh, the, the, the Mist Purge 100 and 30 damage and does 30 more and heal 30. So you can't snipe the bench, so that's good. Ultra Ball discards it in, and another Sound Lab, which is great for us, because that's one less we have to worry about. Now, hopefully, if he takes a knockout, we top deck teammates, because if we teammates, we can grab, like, a Burst Balloon and a Mew, and, no, crab Bursty Balloon and a Theta Town, and there's a Mega Altaria, okay. 220 HP, Monster, Flowstone to the Hoopa, and in? Come on in. Come on in. And if he has Secret Fort in. All right, so that's great. All right, that's good. That's good. He'll take a prize card, though, go down to five, but who cares? Um, as long as we find a Faded Town. Oh, if he gets a guard board out, that could be really bad as well. Okay, so there's a double puzzle, which is not that good for us. Okay, so just a Mistburst. So that's good. He didn't get the guard board down, so that's fine. We're going to send it me. Put a Burst Balloon and hit him. This turn, if we find a Fated Town, that's the question. Can we find a Fated Town? So we'll send it to Mew. On our turn, teammates. <sighs> Via Seeker, that's not what we needed. All right, so we'll Burst Balloon the active. Use in, uh, putting him down to five, we'll get six. Can we find a Fated Town? And we find so that's fantastic. So put down a Fated Town, and we'll hit our opponent for three, six, nine, 100 damage. Uh, plus the Fated Town is 120. All right, so let's use Team Player for 100, plus the uh, Fated Town for 120. Okay, all right, so onto my opponent's turn. If he hits us, he heals 30 to bring him down to 90, then plus 60, 150, plus this is 170. Then we can all pass him in for the knockout. So there's an Ultra Bug, going to discard two cards from his hand, and probably grab the Garboder, most likely. Like, that's what I think you grab here. Now, the unfortunate thing about Garboder is we can't knock out Shaman, we can't knock out Hoopa. Well, he discards a Garboder. Okay, there's a Shaman. Okay, alright. So he discards a Garboder, which is really good for us. Okay, alright, alright. So Garboder coming down. I mean, Shaman coming down. Going to set up for three new cards. Unfortunately, like, you can never license or knock out a Shaman once Garbara comes in the field. That's the only bad thing. Unless you play Fighting Fury Belts. Fully plus powers like this. So, Fairy Drop healing 50 from the active. Oh my goodness. That just happened. Okay. Uh, Near Jones into Altaria. And there's an end. Alright, so no license in this turn. That's good. We just gotta hope he doesn't find a Garbara. Garboder. Garboder. All right, so DCE, Skyla, Lysander, okay. There's a Trainer's Mill. Look at top four cards of his deck, and what will he find? Um, there's a Sycamore, okay.
And there's an Ultra Ball. This will probably get a Gar Garboder. He could grab a Mega Altaria and just like Mega Evolve in his turn. Oh yeah, no, gonna get the Garboder. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, all right, so gonna put that Garboder. And we can't use our Mew anymore. So Garboder coming down, oh, this is no fun. Both decks have been pure Garboder decks. So Miss Purge for 130, healing 30. Oh man, all right, so good burst move for 30. 120 HP left, so we three, six, uh, nine. If we find three, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we need a Skyla. <laughs> For a bursting balloon, okay. So put a burst balloon on the active. We'll put a DC down. And three, six. Unfortunately, we cannot take a knockout. We do have a semi prized. If that was the case, we would be okay. So 20 damage on our opponent's turn. I guess we shouldn't even put down the, the life center, but what I'm scared of is. If he uh, switches this guy, no, if he fairy drops, that could be very bad. So Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven of cards. I guess we should just like, I don't know. It's such a weird thing for sure with the Fated Towns. So all tier spin on that guy, okay. Uh, no matter what, he's getting knocked out. So Miss Purge for 130, okay. Yeah, we should definitely just hold on to the Burst Balloon. Okay, but we get we get two prize cards, so this is good. With this, we are going to grab a oh, instead of Pasimian for sure. But with our knockout, we'll grab a Pasimian and a in. Okay. I wish there was a teammates in here. That could be really good. But go to send the the Hoopa. All right. So on our turn, we get a special charge. So put a DC in the active. How many DCs are discard pile? There's two. So put down Pasimian. We'll special charge. Shuffle two DCs back in our deck. And we are going to end our opponent down to three while we get four new cards, okay? So there's a Buddy Buddy, which is fantastic. But with the Buddy Buddy, they can grab a Mega Altaria. So I don't... It's such a weird thing to do. Um, I think I'm still going to Buddy Buddy for a, for a Pissimian. So that we can hit the Hoopa for enough damage and then later on knock it out. Or we get a help... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Such a weird matchup. All these matchups are so weird. Either way, we're going to have two prize cards. Um, we have to somehow knock out this Altaria. That's the thing. Can we knock out this Altaria or not with our Persimians? So with this, he should just grab Mega Altaria. Like, I don't know what he's trying to do right now. Like, you definitely grab the Mega Altaria so that we can attack next turn with Miss Parish from 130. Okay. All right, so I don't know what's taking my opponent so long, but that's fine. They can take all the time they want. We haven't played any puzzles, so that's good. Okay. And my plan later on is just knock out, knock out the suit, but just a life center, take a knock on it, which is fine. And to win the game, it is going to be somewhat difficult. I'm not going to lie to you, though. So what is my opponent going to do? Do they already have an alt Mega Altaria in their hand? That could be a thing. Okay, I'm not sure what they grabbed, but we're grabbing Pissimian for sure. So put down Pissimian. How many Mega Altarians in here now? There's two. So what did they grab at this card pile? No, oh, wrong button. Hold on, hold on. What did they grab? Did they not get anything? So a team play. Okay. For 100. On to our opponent's turn. I mean, it doesn't look like they grabbed anything. That's really strange. Hmm. All right, so switch to Altaria. Okay. There's the Mega Altaria coming down. All right. Let's see. He can Miss Purge for the knockout. He gets taken 20 damage there. Okay. Healing 30. We can heal 30 for anybody? Oh, my God. All right. So, instead of I just I didn't know I could heal. I thought it was just from the active. All right. So, on our turn, we get a Mew. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, we will Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Looking for a burst point and a DC, which we do find. All right, so put a burst point on the active. Put down a DC. Will Nest Ball just get a Mew out of our deck? Okay, so grab a Mew. Put that guy down and three, six, seven. I don't know if we could take a knockout next turn. It's gonna be very hard. So we'll team play for 70, plus 20, 90. Bring it up to 110, okay. He can heal 30. He gets bought for 60, but I think we can take a knockout next turn if I'm not crazy, which I might be. 
So there's a VS Seeker for Pokemon. <sighs> okay, all right. So heals, heals that. Oh my goodness. So Miss Purge, I don't know if we can take a knockout now. It'd be pretty crazy if we can. So it gets bought for 60, okay. 140 and then 120. Um, actually, I think we can take a knockout. So instead of Mew, he gets bought for another 20. He has 103, 6, 9, 10. Oh my goodness, guys. So we can take a knockout this turn. All right, so I'm going to... got to make sure we play this carefully. Hmm. So I'm going to buddy buddy first. First, Persimian. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. We got to figure out how we're going to do this, guys. How can we take our last couple prize cards? Now with this, he can grab an Altaria. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, all right, all right. So let's see. I don't. Will he grab anything? I mean, is it. You have to, right? So yeah, there's a Mega Altaria coming to his hand. We're going to grab a Simeon. Okay. I'm going to put down a Simeon. We are going to. I'm going to teammates for uh, a puzzle time and a VS Seeker. Okay, so grab these two. Yeah, we'll grab puzzle time and VS Seeker. We will play double puzzle for a Pessimian and a DCE. Okay. We'll put a DCE on Pessimian, put down the Pessimian. Retreat to Pessimian, and we will take a knockout. Do it 122 this Altaria. All right, so there we go. Taking a knockout. And can my opponent do anything right now? I don't think so. So with this, we grab a Lysander Ultra Ball. Okay. Too bad we can't take a knockout on Hoopa because he healed it. <laughs> All right, so our plan is now is to license the Shaman. I hope to get it stuck in the active spot and try to two-shot it. Okay. So there's an Altaria coming back down, unfortunately. There's an Altier spinning going to that guy. Okay. A Fairy Energy. All right. And that's good. That's good. He's attaching a Fairy Energy. Because what we could do is a license of the Shaman. And hit it. And then hopefully he doesn't have a DC for it. How many DCs has he played? Two DCs haven't played. Okay. So I treat to Altaria. And he's just going to pass right now. Okay. So via Seeker for the N. Oh, no. He's N is down to two. Okay. But if he is, he goes down to one, which doesn't seem very smart either. Because he has to hit like crazy good next turn. So there's the end. He's going to end himself down to one. Wow. Okay. He must believe in his cards. All right. So we find a DC and an Ultra Ball. An E Hammer. All right. We have a, a DC in our hand already. So there's an Echo Arm. We'll put a DC on this guy. We will team play for 3, 6, 9, 10, minus 20, 80 damage. We don't take a knock on it yet because that resistance. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What's that one card in his hand? There's a Mega Altaria. Oh, my goodness. That actually is a huge misplay because now we can win the game. Because what he's going to do, he's going to get bought for 20, have 120 left, and we could win 3, 6, 9, 10. Why would you Mega Ball right there? Because now we could team play, do it 100 plus a 20, which is enough for a knockout. And there we go, guys. There's the Basimia deck. Oh, my goodness. We just took down another Garbodor deck. Oh, man. I don't know why my opponent Mega Ball. That was a huge misplay. I mean, okay, we'll take that for sure. And there we go, guys. There's the Basimian Mew deck. Both games, our opponents had Garbodor. The second game, our opponent even had Pokemon Similarity, plus Fairy Drop, plus Healing Cards, and we still did it. Oh, my goodness. Is Basimian, like, one of the best decks right now? That is the real question. Oh, my goodness. But, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, it was a crazy Monday for sure, guys. But thanks for watching. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.